Autocar designs its trucks to be easy for technicians to work on and easy for drivers to get to the access points they need to check. Let's take a walk around of the new DC-64 Severe Duty Vocational Truck to learn more. I'm Deborah Lockridge, and I recently had a chance to visit Autocar's Birmingham, Alabama facilities for a closer look at the new DC-64 vocational truck and where it's made. Bruce Mokri, who works closely with fleets in specking and customizing these trucks, gave me a walk around on the DC-64 to point out some of the ways it's designed for easy maintenance and for durability. Making the truck easy for the driver to drive and safer is, is one of our key focuses, but the other key focus is make the truck easy for the technician to be able to work on. For the driver to drain the air tanks, I can do it right there, right beside the, the door. I don't need to be climbing un, under the, the, the truck at all. Um, for the technician, the ease of access to the components that are underneath the cab and underneath the hood are engineered specifically to make it easier for them to be able to get in, do a repair, get the truck back in, into service. For the, the driver to do his, his daily checks, getting under the hood every single day is an important uh, responsibility. So our hood is a very light, easy pull. You don't have to stick your boot into it to, to be able to, to pull it open. It locks in place. For the driver, we have lights underneath the, de the, um, underneath the hood in order to be able to add oil and do oil level checks. So in those um, early hours of the morning or uh, late at night, you've got the uh, light you need there ready to be able to make it easier for you to be able to do your checks. On the passenger side, we, we have all of our harnesses, which are wrapped with tape and then covered with this protective coating. They are protected from uh, rubbing and, and wear, and anywhere where the components are exposed to the heat of the engine, we have the insulation in order to increase the longevity of, of those components. The other thing that Auto Car is unique for, we've got an aluminum header tank up there, engineered to be there for the service of the life of the vehicle and, and be reliable for years and years to come. So the Auto Car DC has the most unique frame in the industry in that it is 160,000 PSI. The advantage is that I don't need to double frame for the same frame strength of the, uh, any of the, of the other OEMs out there. That gives me the opportunity to build a truck with a lighter uh, weight and make the truck more productive. This truck is with a driver and a full tank of fuel, it will come in at just over 26,000 pounds with the body. Some of the other features that the frame offers is the visibility of the harnesses and the airlines. All of those are free of paint because we assemble our chassis, then we paint it. Because we don't have any of the plastic components on there, we cure that paint at over 400 degrees. That gives the paint a much better bond to the metal and it makes the durability of the paint job that much superior. After the chassis has come out of the, the paint booth, then we're putting in the harnesses and airlines. They're not covered in paint, they're easily visible, and it makes it easier for a technician to be able to literally do a visual trace of an airline or an electrical harness in order to facilitate the repair that they feel that they need to do. When it comes to doing diagnostic repairs on the auto car, a replacement of a fuse is, is often one of the things that we need to do. These four 
thumb screws quickly and easily release the the cover and then we have our fuse panels here my fuse panel is tethered so we can't lose it it's weather sealed so are the connectors to to my fuse panel my fuse panel has the fuse puller and spare fuses if i'm driving down the road and i have a fuse pop my driver information display will show you that it is fuse box 2 error and and that it's fuse 5 for the technician or the driver to get more information he comes over and he presses on the control knob and then it brings up an illustration of that fuse panel and the fuse that is blown is the one that's blinking Another thing Mokri told me about that dashboard is that you only need a single simple tool for every fastener on the dash. This Allen wrench. For more on the Autocar DC64, check out Jack Roberts Test Drive on truckinginfo.com or in the May 2022 issue of Heavy Duty Trucking Magazine.